the first thing I'd like to do is give my heartfelt congratulations to you, Larry, for this amazing day, your 35th anniversary at Samatha Yoga Gardens. I was one of the lucky ones who was there from near the beginning, and so I am especially grateful that you had the fortitude and courage to carry on through what were, I'm sure, some wonderful years and some hard years. A lot of people have grown, love yoga, and love yoga therapy because of you, and I am certainly one of them. You asked me to give a note on what yoga has given to me, and I think that the two things that I work on the most because of yoga are one, keeping an open heart, and two, keeping a passionate interest in this moment. I think that one of the other uh, benefits that we all get from yoga is the humility that comes with knowing that we are always practicing, that we need to practice, and that within every practice we get to notice the multi koshad experience, just like yoga says. You also asked me to share some of the study materials and teachings that I use currently. It always seems to come back to the fundamentals that are already enmeshed in yoga. My advice, one, study pain science and teach pain science. Us humans are much more calm when we understand things. Two, teach self-empowerment. And of course, in order to teach self-empowerment, we have to believe it. And so we have to practice and practice and practice. And I love Lisa Rankin's book for this, Mind Over Medicine. And the third thing is, teach neuroplasticity. Norman Doidge's new book, The Brain's Way of Healing, is a genius and a page turner for teaching and exploring the transformative power of each of us. These three things, I think, are the way that the fields are changing and the wonderful way that we get to inform our students because of it, and at the same time, as I said, right back to the fundamentals of yoga. I want to thank you for this delightful moment, and namaste.